Hey guys, no subscribers guy here, back again with part two of our uh, inspiration uh, series, our, our little survival castle that I'm I'm building. Hopefully, give you an idea of how you want to build. If you're building a castle, how you might want to build it using kind of if you're in survival, the least amount of resources, or in creative, maybe just make it look quite nice. So last time, just to recap, we made the, these four towers around what was going to be our main keep. And now we're going to start filling in the walls on the side. So you can go straight to this wall number one, which is eight across. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, of course. So I'm going to go up by, sorry, there we go. So I'm going to go up by one, two, three, four. And on the fifth one, yep, we'll go up to the fifth. Uh, no. Yeah, we'll go up to five. Go to number five. So up to layer five. May look quite ugly at the moment, but it will look nicer towards the end. One, two, three, four, five, and one, two, three, four, five. Now do it for the rest of these three walls. So two, three, four, five. So do it for the rest of the walls. Just fill this in. Just gotta uh, do it for the rest of the uh, the walls, except the front one where the entrance is, because that's gonna be a bit different. Actually, yeah, no, we'll fill that in. So it's two, three, four, five, and this one. This one will start. We'll start really making shape of our keep. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, and here again. So two, three, four, five. Leave the gap of four for the entrance way, and there you go. There you have that. Now we'll leave that alone. Let's go over here. Let's grab ourselves some oak wood stairs. Start placing them upside down, like. Uh, hold on, what's that? Yep, sorry. Hmm. No, actually, uh, we'll continue like that. Even though it's, it doesn't really work out like that, so I'm going to start placing them across at this. So one gap, one gap, one gap, one gap. These are upside down wooden stairs. Then we're going to grab. Sorry, then we're going to do it on the opposite side, the internal side as well. Across like so, like that. So it looks, it looks like that. We get some oak wood. We place them on top of there. We got that go. Then, and then here, on this upper upper wrong bit, if you want to call it that, or the upper half, place uh, oak wood slabs. Across like, whoop, like so. So we got that going. Is going to be our, our where our, we can stand on the wall and observe. So we need to break a hole in there. And we can place a floor. Break a hole in there. And so when we come again, so one, two, three, four. So from the left side, coming across like that, leaving gap in the middle each time again. And then one, two, three, four, again. Oak wood on top, like so. Just to change it from the traditional. The oak wood I think looks quite nice, just to give it a different bit of change from the um, from just cobblestone or plain oak wood. Oak wood slat, oak wood itself, the actual raw one you get off the tree. I think generally it's quite nice in certain ways. So then on the top one again, put these. So you have these holes at the bottom, which are quite useful if anyone comes in close. You can kind of shoot down, I guess. And then we'll whoop, so we'll go through the inside away. Break a hole in there. And there we go. We'll start down. And out we go. Oak with stairs. Upside down from the left. One, two, three, four. And one, two, three, four. So this this generally gives it quite a nice Quite a nice appeal to it, other than just big plain old stone, you know, castle that you traditionally get. If you're doing it in survival, you can do it with the uh, cobblestone, with cobblestone stairs. But you know, I'm in creative at the moment, so I'll do it. I'll do it as creative. So then what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab some fence, and on top of every bit of oak wood, you know, the uh, standard oak wood, there's a fence post. And one, two, three, four, dun, dun, dun. And again, 
on this wall. All right, then you get some oak wood slabs, and across there with the oak wood slabs we go there, and along the other side, we're starting to get a roof shape going, and there as well, and of course on this side, like that, and then over here again, so on top of here. We've got this beautiful little roof going. Very nice. Oh, very nice. Very nice indeed. And a cross. Now, we've got some oak wood stairs. And this is the tricky bit. So, we're going from right to left. Let's go from that again. So, so from left to right, even. Getting that wrong. Left to right. So, on the same one as these, there's a stair there. And just bring it out across. And this is the tricky bit. There we go. So you've got stairs going all along there like that, so you've got this nice pan going, if you want to say. Which I think does look quite nice, so from left to right again with the stairs, the right way up, like that. And going all the way across, there. And then left to right again. It's important that you keep it going the right way around, it's, it's flowing around in kind of a motion, I guess. So right there. Okay, then what you're going to do is grab some oak wood slabs and place it in the middle box there, 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 and there. And on these two inside corners again, just bring it out by one more, by one more, and we'll do those two later. And then up there by one, and up there by one. That just gives it a bit more of um, a realistic feel to it, if you must. So the whole thing is really linked up. And if you want, you can place a thing in the corner to hold it up. So I'm gonna do. Should I? Maybe we should. How's that look? And then put maybe a half slab under it. Yeah, that works actually. All right. So what we're gonna do underneath there now in these corners is an oak wood underneath there and a half slab underneath that. That makes it look quite nice. Quite, quite, quite the uh, thing. So no, actually no, we'll leave these we'll leave these corners till later as we've done that. So now if you get up in the uh, towers, oh we haven't done that one. We should we'll go through them later and just clear all the routes out. So you can now actually get on top of here. And now look out onto the uh, the world around you whilst having kind of protection in, inside your inner keep. And one, two, like that, and then we'll go across there and do the same. So quickly just fill this in. So we're done there. So now for the main entrance way into this into this building. So what we're gonna do again is just place two upside down stairs on each outer one. Then we're gonna go in here on the second one down from the top. Two upside down uh, ones, that, that, then two of you slabs like that, and then, yep, yeah, sorry, just fill that in with current blocks that goes just like that. But then here, two half slabs on top of there. So then you're gonna go there and there. Yeah, you can go like that. So placing two upside down stairs like that. If you want, if you're following this directly, or if you just want to get inspiration from this idea, then these on top again. We'll do the other side in a sec. So like that. And then in, 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 and on top, on top, on top, on top. One, two, and one, two. And then of course just place, just for now, place the fences on top again, as usual. Now here's where we're going to get a little bit more complicated, here, that's it, just on there place that one up there, so it's one, it's just the half slab above the, uh, this level if you must say like that, just one half slab above the level, and in, and in, so like that, so now on the inside, we've got this nice kind of bridge feel to it, almost, this is the way it will go up, up as we enter. So like there, and then it continues on up there. 
And it'll, it'll look more obvious when the roof is on top. So once we've done that, we might add uh, decoration, if you want. I don't know, you can put what you want over there. I'm putting that there just to make it look less of a void, really. Than that, so put them there to make it look less of a void. You can really put what you want, as I say, all the time. This is either just a copy or take inspiration from, it's your choice. Then go up one, oops, up one. I believe that's what we're going to do. No, to make that work even on this one, go across. That's a whole block there. So then place a whole block on top of this one. If you're doing this kind of roof idea or copying me identically, it's your choice. And there we go, like that. So it goes up. Then we're going to go from. Uh, we're going this way, aren't we? Yep, that way. So from the left side, again, one, two, then bring it up. Now it's bringing it upside down, yeah, it is. Bring it up and across. And in and in. So you got that going. So you got that beautiful little uh, shape going. So now it kind of goes up over the arch. And then don't forget, we've got to, we can't forget these corner bits. So add two either side of this block. One on top. One on top. Then a fence. Fence. Oak wood. Slab, oak wood, oh, oak wood in the correct position like that, and then slab right there, so that should look nice and beautiful. So we got that going. So now for the, that looks quite nice up there. But now for the this part of the outer wall here is quite quite plain. I would say that's quite plain. So here we're going to do in, in the middle of each of these, we're going to place a cobblestone block. We should get four along like that. And they go up by two. And then on top, we're going to place a stone stair. You got that going. And then in between each gap, another stone stair. If you want, or you can put like, I'll put stairs in. That might look, that might look quite nice. I don't know. I'm going to put well, wood in, but you can put what you want in. So we've got this kind of less flat, more three dimensional wall coming out, really. Spin the gap again, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Stone stairs up, two, three, and four on top. And then the gaps again at the bottom, upward stairs. To give ourselves a nice, more three dimensional wall, instead of just a big, flat, plain uh, cobblestone wall as usual. So there's stairs, and upward, 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 upward. So for the front, Think we might change things up a bit. So if we go with oak wood slabs, oak wood, all the way practically up to the top, and then we just place a slab on top of each one like that. So we've got more of a vibrant front, and then we get some upside down stairs that direction, and upside down stairs facing outwards. So the entrance is really starting to look quite nice, and then supporting beams at the bottom, like that, for the uh, the pillars. So you got that shape going, and I guess you could add some iron uh, ladder, we'll get rid of the ladder. Maybe if you really want to get, give a bit more authentic feel to it back here, Place, you know, like some iron bars or something. I don't know, like that. That looks quite nice. I'm going to leave them on. You can put them on in your castle if you really want to. Or not. We'll just take that out one more and take that out one more. So you've got that complete feel to it. Like a drawbridge, not drawbridge, uh, portcullis, that's what it's called. Once we've got this, and these towers. We should work on these towers now because the towers, I would say, are quite plain. Except at the top there, where they got a bit of shape going. So the towers, we are three wide. Okay, one, two on each outer section. One, two, one, two. So keep doing that on the outer of the each three. Just go one, two, one, two, 
one two one two for now one two 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 and one two one two actually gonna be a bit of a hassle and bring it up to three on each of them and then place some stone stairs on top so again here Oh, that's sideways like that. So three up and across like that. So three up and across like that. And again, more up to the top. Uh, I mean, stone stairs. Some beautiful pairs of stone stairs going in there. Right. Stone stairs, stone stairs. Stone stairs, stone stairs. In, in, yes. Right, stone stairs, stone stairs. Boom, boom. Got a bit more of a three-dimensional shape going to our our castle now. Less than just three flat walls and a nice a nice usable space in the middle, I guess. I think that looks quite nice. Now I've got an idea for the uh, these fortifications on and here. Uh, so I do might be quite complicated. So let's let's take this as an experiment. We'll, we can move on if we fail, but if we if we go well, we'll take it as a, a pride. All right. So in the corner of, the, of a tower here, one slab. And we'll bring that out by three. And then again, slab slab whole block out like that. It comes out a bit more now. So this is a whole block, that's in, that's in. One, two, one, two, one, two. Whole block, one, one. I believe that should be working, so there, yep. So we now got this defense is going around the whole outside. Now if this doesn't work, we'll remove it, but if it does work, we'll keep it. Now it's worth keeping, so boom, boom, there. Go across one and in one, place the ladder, 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 and place the ladder. So at every other one, place a piece of ladder. So in one, and up at the bottom of each ladder, place a block. Like so, all around the edges. They're going to look nice. It might work, it might not work. Ooh, it might not work, actually. The probability chances are not going to work. So place upside down blocks on each of these. That is a, that will be facing this way, facing this way. I'll put it that way. Yeah. So now, across, across, across. Cross like so. Yep. Okay, let's screw this. Let's screw this. This doesn't work. This didn't work. We'll leave it out. It's a bit too complicated, and the tower dimensions aren't going to be too good for it. All right, so let's erase that. But this is a. This is this is me just building, you know. Got to make mistakes to move forward, or whatever people say about making mistakes. Okay, so let's return back to normal. So, alright, so we're here again. We're back at we're back at this. We've now got our central keep, and we might want to add. We might want to add something to our central keep. I don't know what we could add. It's quite a small area. We could add some um, internal buildings, maybe. Get some stone bricks that look quite nice. Right, so over here you might want to add some buildings like a kitchen. If you're doing this on multiplayer, you might want to add something like a kitchen or a stable or something. I'm just going to add some place where you can sleep or something. So I'm going to come out one, two, three, four. There. One, two, three, one. One, two, three, one. One, two, three. One. So that's one, two, three, and then one, like so on the inside. So we've got this bit of open space, but 
we got a nice building put in. We're going to put a nice building in here as well. So then it's going to go up by 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. So then, boom. Okay, we're gonna have a bit of a problem placing the stair on that one. Done. We have to remove that block. We can replace it. So across, 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 in. Oops, across, 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 there. And we might be able to sneak it in there. Yep, we snuck that one in there. Just about got it in there, though. So then you're going to want to place them around there with maybe like a gap for a window at the back. You've got a hole for a door. You've got the hole for a single window. And you've got a hole for a single window. And then here we're going to get some glass panes. Some plain glass panes. And right now we'll replace that with a fence. So one, two, three. And up in this diamond shape with the ends of the house here or the building or whatever you want it to be and across and then just place the roof likewise however you think, now we're going to go out by one so keep this normal one the same but we go out by one there, actually no yeah no, we'll keep that one the same there and this one goes out by one just to give the roof a bit more you know, 3D difference to it it's the same will happen here, up and across yeah, we're gonna we fit it in. Yeah, we can fit it in. And we're gonna have to go below it to do it. There. And then just fill in the rest of the roof. So we've got our central building protected by our central fortress, central park. I don't know what to call it. Okay, so the roof this side is gonna be pretty tricky. So we have to go underneath to do it all. Uh, the problems of Minecraft. Okay, yep, yeah. uh, and across again. So this part's going to take the longest out of everything we've done so far, except the towers, which took me 20 minutes. Well, that was a long time to do the towers. They were not pleasant. Okay, it's okay, yeah, we're doing it. Minecraft, yeah, yeah. Alright, sorry. Uh, oh, across, yes. Damn it. Yes, no. Oh, this enrages me. This enrages me gravely, and there's probably better ways to do this, but I'm angry and I don't want to learn about new. Ah! Okay, right. Oh, yes, we have done it. Yes. Like a boss. Or should I say, like a block. <laughs> so witty. Yes. And. Yeah, I did it again, finally. Final amount. Sorry if I've offended any French people there. My bad. Okay. And across, and the last one, yes. And then we get some oak wood slabs, and boom, boom. Ah, damn it. Across, across. It's going so well till now. So well. It's up there, up to the end. Up to the end, and then place a backwards stair so it comes off and flicks up like that. And it comes up and flicks like that. So finally, we've finished the building. All we need to do is install a door. And we go on the inside and come out. Door. Done. Alright, so that's where I'm going to end episode 2 then, guys. I've been the No Subscribers Guy. And thank you for watching.